Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make this beautiful beaded awls with delicate beads and brick stitch. Don't worry if you're not familiar because I'm showing it really easy and even a beginner level beader could make this. Thank to all of you that like, share and comment and thank to Tanya Cassidy that inspired me to make this tutorial. Check description for a full list of materials. There is also a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. A lot of work goes here in this video so you might want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. And the last one comes with perks like additional tutorials and others that you could check in description. Thank you so much for watching. Now I'm going to start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are two colors of 11O Mayuki Delica beads. I'm also using here earring findings. This is Naimo Nylon Thread size D. The thickness is 0.3 millimeters and it's black. Here I'm using size 10 beading needle, you could use size 11 or 12 if you think it will be easier for you. I also provide a free pattern that I did myself, especially for this tutorial. And here I also use scissors. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm back and I'm going to use my pattern to make this work. And I will use it with the brick stitch, so I will turn it in this direction. If I'm working uh, in this direction, I should use peyote stitch, but now I will do it with brick stitch. Okay, and first I'm going to start with these three beads here, the three black beads. Then I will make this row and continue. Okay, how I'm adding my first three black beads. First, I'm going to take two black beads let me zoom in okay I have those two here and I'm going to slide those down and now as I'm exiting through one of them I will leave a tail here because later I will put my thread on it and finish my work okay so as I'm exiting through one of the black beads I'm going through the other one just like this Okay, and guys, I want them situated next to each other with the holes pointing in one direction. You see what I have now. They are touching side to side. Then I will go again through this one. But if you remember, I said I will add three beads here. So I'm adding the third one just like that. Okay, now I have this. And I go here in the last one. Now you see I don't like how they sit. That is why I'm going to reinforce my work one more time. Okay. Now I like the result. They sit next to each other. And they look nice. Okay. And now I'm going to add this row here. First I'm going to take this black bead and this silver bead next to it. In my pattern they are white but I'm adding silver. So I'm adding this one and this one. Okay, I take them and because here my next row is longer than this row, I make an expanding brick stitch or an increasing brick stitch. And when I do an increasing brick stitch, when I take two beads, I go through the first thread bridge that I have here. You see I have one, two thread bridges between my beads and I go through the first one. And then I go through the bead that is closer to the center of my work, which is the silver one. Then I want to go in the black bead. Why I'm doing this? Because you see, now I added this bead and this bead, but I still need to add this black bead here. And how I add it? 
as I'm here, I take one black and I go back like this. Okay, and I add it next to this one with the holes pointing in this direction and they're touching side to side. Then I want to reinforce and I want to exit through the silver bead again here. Okay, now I have this and I'm going to take my pattern again. And what I need to add in this row is a silver and a black and then two black beads. Now I will add one by one the silver and the black. Okay, silver. You see here I have another thread bridge and I'm going to use it. To add this silver bead here. I'm going under it and then I go through the silver bead again. And as I said I want to add one more black bead. And how I do this I take it and because I don't have any more thread bridges I go through the same thread bridge that I've been through with the silver one. I go again through this black one. Then according to my pattern guys, I have two more black beads to add here. So I will add them one by one. Okay, I'm taking one of them and I go backwards through this one that is already there. Then again through the newly added one and I take one more and add it as well okay and then i go through the last one one more time okay and i have this row this row done now i'm making this row and how i do this still i make an increasing brick stitch because this row is longer than the previous one so i take a black and a silver when I make an increasing brick stitch, I go through the first thread bridge that I have here. Here between those two last black beads is a thread bridge. Okay, that I'm not sure if you see, but now probably you see it when my needle goes through it. And I pull. And then I go through the one that is closer to the center of my work, which is the silver one. And I have this. So I added this one and this one. Now I need to add one, two, three, four, five silvers and two blacks. Okay. And I'm going to add one by one the next five silvers. Mm -hmm. Okay, and after the five silvers, I said that I have one black and I added at the same thread bridge that I added the last silver to. Go back like this. Okay, let me check with my pattern what I have. I have a black and one, two, three, four, five, six silvers, then another black and here what I need is one black bead okay and i'm going to add it like this okay now guys i want to reposition my thread in order to start my next row and how i'm going to do this i go through the silver and through the black and then 
through the black and through the same silver and now I'm changing directions because I want to exit here at this end and to be in this direction okay now where I am I am here at this last black, black bead and I want to add these two black beads and this is still an expanding brick stitch or an increasing brick stitch so what I do I take them and I go here under the first thread bridge this one between the two blacks that I added and then I go closer to, through the one that is closer to the center and then I go here at the end okay why I go here at the end at this bit now I'm situated at this bit because I need to add one two three four black beads in this direction and I will add them one, one by one showing faster <laughs> And now I'm going to reinforce them because they don't sit straight and nice. Okay, I added them. Now I want to consult again with my pattern. You see here I am, I have these two blacks and these four black beads. And now what I need to add is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven silvers and one black. Okay, seven silvers. And go through this silver again. I'll show you one more time and let you do this by yourself until the end okay add five more silvers and one black and i'll meet you here okay guys and here i am i have seven silver beads and here the last one i added it at the same thread bridge like the last silver okay and i go like this through it now I'm going to consult with my pattern so uh, now I did this row with the six blacks seven silvers and one black and now I'm going to start this row with the three blacks but now if you see this row goes to the inner side so it is decreasing brick stitch and I will start it again with two beads these two blacks and I will take them and I will go under the second thread bridge counting from the edge why I go under the second because I decrease now and then again it is absolutely the same that I go through the one that is closer to the center of my work but you see how they uh, stay strange they not sit next to each other this is because they are stretching because I go through the second thread bridge and I need to reinforce them so I'm going one more time around those beads so this is the only difference between the increasing and the decreasing brick stitch in the first case with the increasing brick stitch you go through the first thread bridge and don't reinforce and at the second case when you decrease you go through the second thread bridge and reinforce once okay then as i said i need three black beads here and i'm adding the third one absolutely the same way like i showed you before let me see what else i have here at this row i have four silvers two blacks 
two silvers, two blacks. Okay, pause on this pattern and add those beads that I set just now. Okay, and then I'll be back. Okay, guys, and here I am where I'm finishing the row that I set out do off camera. And now what I need to do is to add these additional two beads that I have here. And in order to do this, I should reposition my thread. How I will reposition it? I will go through this bead. Then I will turn my work in this direction. And I'm going diagonally here through the third bead, counting from the edge. So I'm exiting out of the third one. Then I will go through the second one in this direction. And I'm here where I'm in a position to add these two, these two beads, you see. And how I add them, because this is an increasing brick stitch, because this sticks out, I will go here through the first thread bridge that I have like this then I go through the one that is closer to the center of my work and because this is the edge I want to reinforce it okay then I will go through all of the beads and exit here. You see, now I'm here at this bead. The third one, one, two, three, I'm here at this one. And I will start this row with a black and a silver. And uh, it is decreasing black, silver black and silver and I don't go through the first thread bridge but I go through the second one because I said it is decreasing brick stitch and of course I go through the one that is closer to the center of my work then in order to finish the eye I add a black and a silver, the center of the eye, I mean, of my owl. Okay, a black. And a silver. Okay. I will consult with my pattern again. Here, what I have is one, two, three, four, five six seven blacks one silver and one black okay and i'm gonna add seven blacks one silver one black and i'll be back okay guys and i just added those beads that i mentioned i hope you have done this if not just pause the video and add them now what i need to add is my next row which consists of one black, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight silver, one black, two silvers, and two black. And this row is expanding. And I'm going to show you just this first step with the black and the silver. And then I will pause so you could continue doing this. Okay, and I take a black and a silver. And I go through the thread bridge here, through the very first one, because I increase. Then I go through the one which is closer to the center. And then, one by one, at all of those beads, you see black silver, continue with this row. I'm pausing on it, so you will be able to do this. Okay, and I'll be back to show you my progress. Okay, and as I said, I finished this row 
and I'm here guys at these two black beads you see I just did the eye and I'm here and now I will start with this row and it is also increasing and I need a black a silver three blacks one two three four five six seven eight nine silvers and one black okay pause on it and do this it is an increasing brick stitch it is an increasing brick stitch as I showed you so many times before and I'll be back to show you what's coming up next. I hope you followed the pattern and did this. If not, pause it now and follow it. It is this row here. I started from this point. And now I'm going to be doing the largest row, which consists of two blacks, three silvers, one black, nine silvers and one black. Okay, pause and do this. and. I'll be back and by the way I'm starting from here in fact black nine silvers black three silvers and two black beads okay pause and do this and I'll be back it is expanding brick stitch okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last bead from this row I hope you did it if not pause on this frame and do this okay now it comes the next part which is decreasing brick stitch and I start from here with a black and a silver then three blacks nine silvers and one black at the at the end here this one okay so I'm making this row and I started with a black and a silver and decrease which means I take a black and a silver and I don't go through the first thread bridge, but I go through the second one. Pull. Then go through the one which is closer to the center of my work. And then reinforce as you always do when you make a decreasing brick stitch. okay I showed you the first two tricky steps so uh, how I add the first two beads I mean a black and a silver three blacks nine silvers and a black okay pause here and do this until the end and I'll show you my progress in a while okay guys and I just did this row here this one and I finished with this black bead and now I'm going to be doing this row, one black, eight silvers, one black, two silvers and two black beads. And it is easy decreasing brick stitch, nothing complicated. I'll do this and I will be back. Okay, guys, and I'm here where I added my last black bead from this row. Pause and do this. Let me check with my pattern again. Okay, I just did this row, finished this row where the beginning of the eye is. And now I will make another decreasing row and you know how to do this. Go under the second thread bridge and reinforce picking up a black and a silver. And then continue up to this black one here at the end. Okay, pause, do this and I'll be back to show you the result. Okay guys, and I just added with a decreasing brick stitch, a black, a silver, a black, a silver, seven blacks, one silver and one black. And I'm here and let me consult with my pattern where I am. This is the row that I was making with this central part of the eye. And now I'm going to be doing again decreasing bridge from one side and I'm starting it with two blacks going through the second thread bridge and reinforcing and then again continue black four silvers two blacks two silvers and two blacks and here it is increasing so at the last thread bridge I'm going to be adding two black beads okay pause and this explanation should be enough to be able to do this okay guys and I'm ready with this row I hope you did it here at the last step I added one more bead at the last thread bridge because here you see I'm increasing and in the beginning as I told you I was decreasing 
so I started at the second thread bridge okay this is the only tricky thing okay so which row it is it is this one and I'm exiting here now I'm going to show you how I'm adding the first two beads of my next row which is standard increasing uh, row and I'm sure you're gonna be able to do this without any problem it consists of one two three four five six black beads one two three four five six seven silver beads and one black and i will show you how i'm adding these two then these two and you will continue from here on so first i will take these two black beads and i first take the first black beads that i set i will add okay and i go here under this thread bridge the first one because i'm increasing according to my pattern okay go like this then what i want to do is to go through the one that is closer to the center of my work okay then i want to reposition my thread guys and how i reposition my thread i go diagonally through these three beads okay like this then through the neighbor one here okay this one next to the eye Okay, you see I'm exiting out of this black one here, this one. And now what I want to do is go backwards through those two beads and then diagonally through these two beads here. Okay, and my goal was to exit here at this point. And I'm going to take two beads and I go here through this thread bridge which is just one and then I go through the one which is closer to the center of my work okay and I want to reinforce you know because this is the end of it okay now i finished this row here the tricky part was the repositioning of the thread so i could add them sticking out like this so now what i want to do is to go back at this uh, row and continue after this these three beads after these two beads here and how i do this again i want to make I want to make a thread repositioning I'm going like this diagonally and then I exit here through this black one where I'm in a position to continue with my row you see I'm exiting out of this one and now I need to add one two three four four more black beads I'll show you only the first one I'm adding it at the next thread bridge okay and now I have one two three and I need one two three more blacks seven silvers and one black and when I'm up to here I'll be back to show you what's coming up next okay finish up to here and be back okay guys and i'm here where i'm adding my last black bead from this row you see here it is i added it at the same thread bridge where i added the silver one and now let me see what comes from here i need to add this row which consists of black one two three four five six silvers and two blacks I'll do this off camera and I'll be back and it is decreasing so you start with a black and a silver and through the second thread bridge and reinforce I forgot to tell you 
Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding the last black bead from this row. Okay, you see I'm here. I just added these two beads and now I need to start my next row. But here is a tricky part. I need to reposition my thread to exit out of this bead and in this direction. And now it exits out of this bead, the second black one, in this direction. Okay, and how I do this? I go here diagonally through uh, this one and through the next one. Then I will go through the neighbor one and through this one. Now I'm where I want to be, exiting out of the inner bead, because here I make a decreasion. And now as I'm exiting here, I will start with decreasing brick stitch, uh, adding these two black beads, then these two silvers and these three black beads. So, okay, I'm here at this row. So I start with two blacks. I'm showing this part because it's tricky. Okay, two blacks. And as I'm exiting here, I go not through the first thread bridge, this one, but through the second one. Okay, now I have this. Then what I need to do is go through the one that is closer to the center and then additionally reinforce my work. Okay, then I need two silvers, three blacks. Okay, guys, now I have this and let me consult with my pattern. Here I need to add these three beads, but in order to add them, you see I have this one, two, three, one, two, three. I should be exiting out of this third black bead and in this direction. So I should make some thread repositioning before I add them. Okay, first I go through the second black bead in this direction and then I go through the third black bead in this direction and then I'm going to take two beads and because I decrease compared to this one, I will go here uh, through the second thread bridge counting from here. So not, not between the black and the silver, but this thread bridge between the two silvers and I go like this again you know when I decrease and my beads are stretching because they go through the second thread bridge I need to reinforce them so I go one more time through them and then I add one more just like this okay and now my all is ready and now I need to attach my earring winding and in order to do this I will go through some beads in this direction and I'll exit here and then I'll be back. Okay guys and when I reposition my thread now I'm exiting here at the top and I need to take two silver beads my earring finding and two silver beads on my needle and I go back like this. Okay, then I need to reinforce this joint here. Okay. And now I need to make a knot and cut my thread and I'm making it here at the angle and I make a loop like this and I go twi twice through the loop I've made and I pull. And then I go through the following seed bead. By the way, uh, when you make a brick stitch with delicate beads, 
Some people don't want to make knots, they just zigzag through the beads and cut their thread. And this is what I'm gonna be doing with this tail thread. I'll put my needle on it, I'll zigzag through the beads and then cut it. Okay guys, and now my beaded all earrings are ready, so if you like them and you want to see more and more similar absolutely free tutorials like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell you will be inspired often usually twice a week thank to all of you that like share and comment you helped me so much with these actions i can't thank you enough for this down there in description you will find a lot of useful resources a lot of work goes here in this video so you might want to support me in paypal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could also check in the link in description. Now click on the link that you see on your screens and continue watching.